Hi and welcome to another Frivolous episode. So, because people's interest in sunscreen peaks when there is sun outside and it's summer, and because it's summer where I am, although we should be wearing sunscreen every single day of the year despite the weather, and if it's cloudy or sunny or dark or whatever, uh, I decided to do a few videos dedicated to sunscreen and this is the first one. These are the new sunscreens on the block and if you understand what I did there, I love you but no judgment if you haven't. And um, although I still keep my undying love for P20 Sun Care for Kids, it's one of, it's the best sunscreen out there for me in terms of guaranteeing you won't have any sun interference with your skin. Um, and also I have a huge passion for uh, Japanese and Korean sunscreens that are super lightweight, super elegant formulas like the Skin Aqua that I mention of so many times and it's far more affordable per mil uh, and also La Roche Posay Anthelios which is a classic. I wanted to talk about a roundup of uh, sunscreens that I've been trying and that are really good just to letting you know a little bit of what's out there that can you may easily uh, access to or have access to and that can be another option for you if you don't have access to the ones that I've mentioned previously. So the first one is the most inexpensive of them all and because of that it is usually sold out. I'll have all of these links in my blogs but I can't guarantee that this will be available at the time of posting because it's always sold out and for a reason. This is the Garnier Ambre Solaire Sensitive Advanced um, Fluid for the face. This is very similar to La Roche Posay Shaker Fluid off the bat. It is even more lightweight, but because it has a high alcohol content. For my skin, that doesn't bother me at all, especially if I'm really oily. But it may be um, not, not adequate for those of you who have very sensitive skin, of course. But for very oily days, this feels like nothing on the skin and it's something that I really appreciate. It may give a little bit of a sheen, but it doesn't feel oily or heavy at all. And I'm almost out of it. I really enjoyed this one. Next up, still in the very fluid kind of textures, I'm really enjoying, oh, and the Sensitive Advanced is fragrance-free, the same as the next ones that I'm going to mention, which are from the Uriage Barrier Sun sort of line. These are also fragrance-free, and this is still within the same kind of very fluid texture, very lightweight. It only comes in 30 mils, unlike the rest of the Uriage sunscreens. I don't know what's up with that, but still. This is my favorite from the three that I'm going to mention, because this is, again, the most lightweight fluid. When you apply it, you will feel like it's a bit heavier, and you may be a bit frightened if you're oilier or combo skin, and you're getting ready for a really hot day. You will maybe a bit frightened because it feels like a very nourishing creamy lotion but if you leave it um, a bit on your skin it starts to sink in to set and it barely is noticeable or you can you can barely feel it on your skin after that it does give a bit of a sheen nothing to um, bothersome and it doesn't interfere with makeup application the same as with the sensitive advanced uh, from Garnier this is fantastic and again for my oilier days these two are the ones that I go for now in a slightly more heavy and not a negative way um, sort of formula the Bahia Sun this is the fragrance free cream very high protection so this is the cream formula this is really good. It is a cream, but it has a light texture. As they say, it is really easy to spread and to apply, and it sinks into the skin. It doesn't feel extremely heavy. Of course, if it's a very hot day outside, like it is today, this is not the one that I'm going to go for, but I still keep it in my arsenal because, you know, I like to change it up. If I don't use any moisturizer, this is something that I can apply. Uh, without any heaviness, any extreme heaviness. And again, it's a cream, it's a bit more nourishing and I think many people with different skin types will love this one. Um, and neither of these leaves are white cast, which is, which is something I really appreciate because these are all organic sunscreens. Up next is the Bahia Sun 
anti-brown spot fluid, very high protection, again, uh, fragrance free, again, these are all SPF 50 plus. This is one that has a few ingredients to prevent hyperpigmentation, to help to fade the hyperpigmentation. I really like this texture and it is a fluid, but there's something in this product that makes it create sort of a film on your skin that when you you, you start touching or rubbing, rubbing your skin a bit, it may start to pill. So I use this with no makeup, if that makes sense, because if you want to buff anything on top of it, unless you apply it with your fingers, which you can do, this is will more easily start to pill, which is a shame. Uh, but nonetheless, the texture is fantastic. It's between the fluid and the cream, and again, if you have hyperpigmentation like I do, this is a great option because it has added um, potential to prevent your brown spots. Next is the Antelios Age Correct uh, Photo Correction um, Daily. Visibly reduces wrinkles and dark spots, so it says. This is really good. This comes in a pump. This is a cream though. Again, a bit like the Uriage Barrier Sun Cream. This is a bit more dense. It does sink into the skin. It doesn't linger in a very oily, slippery way. It's not that thick, but it's not the thinnest formula either. Still, I love this formula. The only thing with this one, it's that, I don't know if it says it's fragrance-free, but it does have a smell to it. It's not too disturbing. It's not something that is really noticeable, but some people may, may not like it, I can do with it and I find that this works wonderfully under makeup, it doesn't create a film that pills. The, the tinted version of this though is terrible and immediately pills on my skin as soon as I try to rub it in. I don't like tinted SPFs but that's another story but to apply the correct amount I like colourless SPFs and this is fantastic, it feels super supple on the skin. And again, to add to the sun protection, which is your main anti-aging product in life, this has some ingredients that have some skincare properties that will help to, I wouldn't say reduce, but to prevent further damaging of your skin within wrinklage and brown spotting and stuff like that. Again, another one really good for people with hyperpigmentation, I'd say really enjoying this one. Last but not least, this is the most expensive, although La Roche-Posay is getting really expensive, but this is, I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do, this is the Hello Sunday, the one that's a serum sunscreen, and this is an SPF 45, if you know me, you know I don't go below SPF 50 plus very often, but I really wanted to give this kind of serum a try. Now let's talk about it. In terms of texture, this is a lotion-y serum pretty close to the Uriage and the Sensitive Advanced in terms of thickness of the product. It, it comes in, you know, the serum classic formula, formulation or packaging, which is the dropper, but it could as easily come in one of these. But what would the marketing uh, do about that, you know? Anyway, I'm thoroughly enjoying this one with one caveat. This is super glowy, super dewy. I like my dew. Of course, I don't use this in very hot days because my skin can't deal with that. But in a bit less warm day, I can go for this and it is a fantastic texture on the skin. It feels really nourishing, not too heavy, but it does have that glow and that slip. It works beautifully beautifully under makeup if you want a very dewy, shiny look to your skin, but you can powder it down a little bit where you don't want that shine. I think this is a very interesting formula. Will it be everybody's cup of tea? Nothing is everybody's cup of tea. Somebody that is really oily and doesn't like to shine, they will go for something like the Ambre Solaire or the Fluid from Uriage, and something somebody who wants more of a dewy, glowy look for the city, for every day. I think they will go for this one. Of course, this comes in a, in a glass bottle, so it's not easy to carry around to reapply, but to each their own. I can't say I don't like this one. I've been thoroughly enjoying doing my makeup 
on top of this with minimal coverage and then just a few, a little bit of colour and looking very dewy. I really like it. I almost forgot this little baby here and my battery ran out and it was all really rude for my productivity. But anyway, I came back just to let you know, this is a fantastic product that I have been using over the past, I'd say, three months. This is by uh, Lirac and it's called Sunisim or Sunisim. Uh, the blend of French and English always breaks my mind and my spirit. And it's the Protective Eye Care, and this is an SPF 50 little pen. And this has a little bit of a tint to it, which is great if you are on the lighter spectrum of uh, skin tones. I'd love to see them come out with something for darker skin tones. A few more shades would be amazing, and also maybe a clear one. But the texture on this, this is not a thick... Um, a thick greasy product. It's almost like a concealer texture. It's a light creamy texture that blends onto your skin. I like to use it underneath my eyes uh, and all around my eyes and the little tint that it provides for me acts like a bit of a, a toning down product for my under eye um, bags, although I always need concealer nonetheless. And if you struggle with very sensitive eyes and applying a normal sunscreen around your eye area is a problem for you, it always stings, it always burns, your skin feels itchy or uncomfortable in any way, this is a great, great option. It doesn't take too much space. And it has enough product to be considered a good purchase. I've been using this almost daily, as long as I don't forget, I always use this, uh, for I think almost three months now, at least two, and I still have this amount of product. So it's a really good one, I'd say. Now back to the video. And that's it, that's my uh, new sunscreens on the block roundup <laughs> that I have for you today. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Also, uh, if you have any questions regarding sunscreens, any kind of content, specific content that you would like to see regarding sunscreens, let me know in the comments below uh, which are your favorite sunscreens. I always love to try new ones. And yeah, as usual, if you haven't subscribed, you may please consider subscribing and clicking that red button below. And uh, as always, thank you for spending your time on me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.